one thing I want to say is that there about uh, innovation in the area of ideas, there are no stupid people, stupid ideas, just stupid people. And I quote myself in the book. So why why do I why do I say that? Let's unpack that. Unpack what stupid people are. So what they aren't are stupid people aren't necessarily people who fail because you might it might they might not be failures and so it doesn't mean that if you fail you're stupid and it doesn't mean people who have a low IQ one of the th pieces of feedback that we got in naming this discussion is you might insult people who have uh who are cognitively challenged. So, but they, that's not what we mean, stupid. Uh, stupid people, people who are not stupid might not, people who are stupid might not have a low intellect and they may not have a low education and they, they might not be able to come up with good ideas. You can also have highly educated people who, who may be able to come up with stupid ideas. So let's go a little deeper. One of the, some of the features of stupid people we, we see here. First, stupid people don't seek diversity, meaning that they, stupid people go and talk to other stupid people to get ideas. They want to talk to people like themselves. They don't, they don't want to talk to people who are different from them. Engineers may want to talk to engineers. Scientists want to talk to other scientists. But maybe you can get some great ideas by talking to somebody who is from a different occupation, a different stature in life. The next feature of stupid people is they don't listen. You may try to give them information and they just don't listen to you because they're listening to other stupid people. And they have a hard time ingesting ideas that don't match with what their bias is. They have a confirmation bias. They only listen to people who tell them what they want to hear. The next thing that stupid people do is they get on the wrong bus. If you um, are familiar with uh, Collins' quote, uh, from good to great, you get the right people on the right bus. Well, the um, stupid people get on the wrong bus. And then finally, they don't learn from their mistakes. They, they, they uh, make the same mistakes over and over and over again. We, we were having a discussion about um, what happens in the academic community when there when a new president comes into a university what often happens is a new president comes in and they bring the leadership team from their former organization and then they stay there a few years and they go to another university and take the same leadership team to another organization and they keep taking the same people over and over and over so maybe they made mistakes in that other organization. They don't necessarily learn. They're propagating their mistakes over and over again. And if you don't seek diversity in terms of the people you work with, then you don't have anybody teaching you how to think different or helping you learn about different ways of doing things.